In this tutorial, what we will check out is we will try and create a new user and make sure that as a new user has been created, they are automatically taking the role ID of three. One way we could do that is to make sure that we go to a PHP admin and set three as the default value of role ID for users table. And then the other thing we can do is to make sure that the user can just hack their way through. So we will not put it in the view. We'll go to the login, the sign up form, and then in the controller, we will make this uh, a default. So first of all, we do it in two ways. So eventually in your own case, you will figure out what works for you and choose. So for me, initially the user, any person signing up will take a user ID, a role ID of three. So I'm going to add a new one field that is after ID, all right, and then I'm going to say go. And then, of course, we'll call it role ID because uh, it points to the role table, and that's 11 there. And the role ID, uh, the default value, as defined, select as defined, the role ID is 3. So we'll make sure that anybody that's signing up for the first time into our platform is a user. Then the admin can go and make them a moderator or a super admin if they want to. And now we've done this, we can say save. So if we go back to our structure and go back to our browse and um, everybody is a user by default. So I'm going to make from Hillary an admin. So we're going to, even though we already have it right here as rule three, we're going to make sure just to double check right in the users when we are, um, saving the user creating a new user we are going to there isn't a sign up so um if the sign up form is submitted which means if it is post right here we're going to create another field just before the user is saved so we're going to get the request data and um, say the request data for user id not use a role ID. What is this? Sorry, uh, I have to refresh. Okay, cool. We're there. But the request data for role, and let's call ID. This is how you create a field, will be three. So we'll set it to three, which means um, from here on, um, Let's just put a comment. Port user role. Okay. Then we're gonna say that um one equal to admin, two equal to moderator mode, and uh, three equal to user. So um, when we first sign up a user, we can uh, have this here. So the next thing we want to do is to go to the user. We can do this too in the add user because depending on how you're building your application, you can make admin able to add a user, like save new users. So the function comes by default when you bake. So I have that function here. And what I can do is right here, add the same thing. So if admin is creating a new user, um, we can do this. Then we can also take care of the um, admin issue here. The next thing we're going to do is to check out the user uh, add page because right here we want to make sure that in the edit page, in the edit user page, we will be able to um, only admin should be able to create them. Oh, what is all this? Can't use method return value right text, okay? So on line 70, we're supposed to use request data because we're trying to set a new data value. So we're gonna go to our setup right here, copy it, then back to sign up. Um, I'm looking for the sign up, can I find it? Okay, there we are. Oops. 
Okay, so we're going to when you want to get the data, you use get data, but when you want to set data, this is what we use. Alright, so we're setting the rule ID field to be three and uh, so that whenever a user is new a new user is signing up, the rule ID will be automatically three. So we're gonna try it out and um, to do that I want to set this to to two for um just go here all right just to test it out to test that it's working I want to set it to two here so it doesn't conflict with what we have on the database so we'll go back and uh, there we are we reset refresh and um, we're gonna go for the sign up Click on it. So we're going to sign up a new user. So I'm going to say new user email at gmail.com. Oops, cool. Then the phone number is going to be zero. Any phone number does. Then the password is password. I know it's a lame password. So we'll click on sign up just to see what eventually happens. Okay, save. No need to save. So let's check out in the database whether the sign up was successful. And as you can see, it worked. Alright, so in the next video, we'll go more in depth into um, working in the form and uh, enabling the admin to be able to set up the form. Alright, thank you.